What feel for come on in the morning ya? Yeah? What do you feel like? We have a hand. Like a winning and popcorn. See if you know how to yeah. Good morning. Just drink my big cup of Milo. As my come on, you know, freeze me up. Okobit. You know you we call some girl Miss Okobit. Yeah. Just drink my big mile up. I feel like a big champion. I ready for thump up two face and go on. Bad, my bad. What do you feel like? I know, see, I saw it go. You yeah, got Madagascar. <laughs> In a Friday, yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna run on. Dirty nigga. Apart from a fender. Don't I can say that? Baby Q. That no good morning, everybody. But like when my son, and I look like when I'm ready for the weekend. Have a nice weekend. Don't know. Nobody not like Monday. Yeah, Oko, you know I'm a real baby mother already, man. Where I do? Mash up me, yo. Tell her you're wicked, man. Yo, God, no. Yo, tell her I love problem and war. Can't just make me just come on and be a pee. Yeah, I don't know. Internet will freeze up, freeze up like it's a freezing game. Like me have to come off and come on back down. Who do you come down now? Come down now. Like which part of the afternoon you come from? England. Anyway, we're not going with. We're not going with. We're not having a morning coffee already. We're not having a ginger tea with a little garlic already. How are you? How are you doing? Let's talk. Lord. They may come on me have to tell you so I have to protect the youth, them boy. Come here and tell us that sometimes I see something. What you doing this weekend? I doing you this weekend. That me doing. I may have to tell you no. I have to deal with the youth and protect the youth. I see a little thing I go on from the internet. And you know, say, contain an artist and him, him son. Kayan, wicked. I remember when I see it, I tell you, I said, John was star. Nobody know that ever saved the youth. Them. Nobody know that ever saved the youth. Them. And all of the man them will like go around and just fling them seed all about and get and get a bag of pitney. See? All of the man them will follow me upon the page. And if you are fat and not get no youth, don't feel bad. Because when it comes on to children, children is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And when I say it's a lot of work, sometimes me and the baby mother might not work out. See? Sometimes me and the baby mother not work out and the youth gone with the mother down on one part and you gone your separate ways. If you don't plan for the youth like 100%, like you take the youth 3 days out of the week or sometimes 4 out of the week, it don't, it's not a good thing to get a bag of pitney all about. I mean, not the man who don't get them bag of pitney already. I just a say, it's not a good thing to get children where you can't afford to take care of physically and emotionally and mentally. You understand? Because where you will protect your youth from when you're dead, eh? you can't protect your youth when you're not there. Like for instance, if your youth live in a different parish, like 
are a different state. You live in New York and you live in Atlanta. You can't protect your youth from New York when you youth in Atlanta. Zin, not for we man to a girl sexy and brown and look good or she black and shape good. We are saying we want to fuck up our shape. You breed more and breed that, you know. Like you just have it in your mind, say you want to breed that. Yes, you breed her and she come. Nine months, pitney reach, one pitney reach, two pitney I grow, all kind of things are going on. You know, daddy, you just know, say, yeah, man, I'm a baby mother. Sending the money alone, go give you Can't cut it. See? So the youth, them now get no protection. See? Them say some woman, no, say the man pull out game weak, but she still go lay herself a certain way if it get pregnant because she has say, yo, the man eye them pretty. And she love him pretty eye them and she like him bow legs so she want to have a son with bow leg and she want to have a daughter with pretty eye and she like the man hear them cause him braids them like the things that when we hear sometimes it wicked see so now the situation where me ask you now like I realize the whole people not talk about it see because I how them feel about the artists Enough people don't like the artists. So, them have some whole heap of different things to say. See, when it comes to the artists, just leave the artists, your feelings towards the artists for a minute and we could discuss that situation. You see? Alright, um, the youth was seven at the time, and this boy was 11. See, this boy I was 11 and them say some molestation go on after the youth. The youth got molested when he was 7. We don't know for how long him get molested, but the youth traumatized up to today. The youth tried to kill himself a couple of times well because people are bringing him as a, a gay. And you don't know in a day in Jamaica, not everybody. It more right now, to be fair, I think it more comfortable now when a guy come out and say, or him act a certain way. But when them time there when you're younger, I would have a bash in here get. See? And when me I listen to the story, like alright, Mr. Vegas buck up on this boy. When Mr. Vegas buck up on him, Mr. Vegas has talked to him before the camera. Whatever, we just attack what we hear on the camera. He never did say nothing much. Mr. Vegas has said everything. See? This man has reached a foreign now. And Mr. Vegas find out where he live and reach him yard. When he reach him yard, he go to Bam and um, Vegas ask him the question, him, ask him the question, him, ask him the question. Him. So he start run now because he don't want to on camera. Enough people say Vegas should have just hurt him or arm him or do something to him like right there. So. But Vegas is an idiot because he has to put his hand on him, he has get in a problem. You putting yourself in a problem regardless of the situation. If it never depends on camera now, we couldn't see. If it after the fact now, but Vegas video him. It's a sad case because the people are bash Vegas the same way and I say, oh, him and him son are the same thing because this and that and that and that, which that is wrong. Nobody in a business about the youth. I know a brand the youth I get brand. Nobody in a business said the youth try to kill himself a couple times. The youth try to kill himself. Everybody does have the hatred towards Mr. Vegas. Regardless of where he wants to say, regardless of how he wants to bring across and steal him son. When me say about it is, I don't think I would have bring my son to the light here. Yeah. I want to bring my son to the light here yeah, because right now the world knows eh, my son they are New York and the world knows my son name and the world knows eh, my son did get molested and the world knows everything about my pit me. And it nah go be a good, 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 good thing ever again for the youth because now it happened before social media era. Now it's fresh to everybody, it's fresh to me, it's fresh to you, it's fresh to everybody. Because we think that something will happen last week. We think that something will happen last month. Regardless of how long it happened, you know, it's fresh to all of us. It's a fresh situation. Right? So now it's a new trauma now when this youth look on the internet and see him father name. When him see him father name, you go hear the headline say, Vegas confront son over, um, confront man who raped him son. Like one bag of headline I go there. And you go see all kind of something. So right now, them have to go watch the youth, they are keenly. Because the youth are 19 now. 
See? And if him try to commit suicide a couple of times already. See? If it happened a couple of times already, what do you think is going to happen now? So, me feel like Semis of Vegas should have bring deal with it different. Him approach the situation ignorant. See? Because him ignorant at the time and him never did a thing about the youth. Because knowing how them not to like you upon the internet. Knowing say you was a man who was very outspoken because you beat where your brother name? The one from the country. What did I act like woman? Girly. Him beat when name is handsome. Remember Vegas beat him, beat him, beat him. And beat him say boy pedophile and one bag of something. So you see true him go do the whole of them something they know. It's like them have a hatred for him because everybody have them fans. Regardless of if your fans are junk or your fans are dark shit, your fans are everything. See? So true him go do that now. Be a people I use an opportunity if you show it back in him face when I him put it out. Because if you didn't put it out, if you never put it out, we wouldn't know. But what I say is no judgment, they might try to defend him youth. Because how me would I feel if they molest my son? I can't feel good. Probably me deal it a different way. Because we talk things, you know. But for really take matters in our own hands when time at time for we. Me never we like for sister the camera come out and we see the brother. But how much are we really remember how the man look? How much are we, we really remember? We remember how Mr. Vegas look. Because we know Mr. Vegas that. But we don't remember how the man look. All him video the man and show it out on the man face. Remember the man go as far as do an interview now. The man do the interview and me I listen to the interview. And the man I say. I see him see the local boy and the next local boy in an uncompromising position and him say him a go talk. Him say him a go talk and the local boy we are seven say him a go give money for the talk. I don't get that. A seven year old I tell you eleven year old say. And you extract him for about eight years straight. Him a fair bring money come give you. For eight years straight I saw you nice and kind as you hold that local boy secret. So you see with the next little boy, I not buy that. I not buy that. After me listen to that interview, the mayor said, eight here you are extart him. Say so I bring two bills and three bills come here. You are extart him. Eh? You are extart him. You are eleven. That means you have more sense more than him. See? Because I remember this, you know. A pathological liar we are tell a lie and believe it. See? In there in America. Just married a child, so I thought him papers, so he might worry about him wife. Think. He might worry about if him wife ever help him because even if on the, the same interview, he must say this thing. On the same interview, he must say, right now, him wife they want to help him with him papers. See? And he must say, I him tell Mr. Vegas where him there. So if, if, if him did molest the local boy, if him did, if, if him did molest the local boy, he only met Mr. Vegas and meet him. See, Mr. Vegas say my plan for expose him long time and whatever, whatever. So the camera, he did a talk to Mr. Vegas, but it, when, when he see the camera, let me tell you this, I said, I know I'm going to do something. If me know I'm going to do something, take out your phone and video me. Because I remember, so once I'm on the camera, I can't take it off again. He not say nothing upon the camera for incriminate himself, for incriminate himself. See, but all me know say, 7 and 11, you're five years older than this little youth, yeah. See, you say, I see you see him and the next little boy are going with things. You decide to so you're extarting. The extortion something where you extort the youth for your much years and then you have the youth number for years. You have the youth number for years. Why do you have his number for years? For all these years, you still have his number. I still not understand that. Oh, you still have the little boy number for years. Eh? A seven year old, I got us take 300 US and all of them money there. Because him family have money and us bring 300 US come give you. Because eh? him family have money. Eh? Then you run like, remember, say, me, me listen to your interview and the interview now say, your back gun. So, Mr. Vegas back gun by you. So, you lift up your clothes and you run. If me know me not guilty, me not, me not run. See, that's why I come on from the live here and I'm on here for me to know say, you don't have to protect your youth. Some of the man them boy, yeah, pride on the woman them we have boy, boy children and 
them have them look at dirty ways and them dirty mentality and them look at nastiness and them pride on the woman, them single man, and them we have son or pride on them we have daughter. That's why we have to be careful of who we bring bringing on the home. Nothing wrong with being paranoid when it comes to your children and them have to paranoid far. You're not supposed to be quick for your man to become your step, your daughter's stepfather. You're not supposed to be glad for that because you don't know. Everybody have a past, but what kind of past them have? See, we're living in our world right now where a man run out of a community where him be lean and him living in another community now. He must say, nobody don't know me up here. So up here, so your name, name, name Port St. Lucie. Because everybody know about Florida, Port St. Lucie, I like country. See, so you live at Port St. Lucie now, so you feel like, say, all right, enough people, you have a long South Miami. Enough people live at South Miami, remember South Miami, a true one from Miami itself. See, so enough man go find some hiding spot down at them places because they find a woman where down at the side that she come from, and he might do him thing, and nobody don't know him, escape from that something there. See, and me I tell you, no, we have to wise, and we have to listen to the children them when they talk, we have to listen to them. We have to listen to the children them when they talk. See, we have to listen to the children them because we don't know about something happen. And me don't believe say that the little boy are the victim. This little boy is 19 now and he is a victim. Remember, say right now, in a third people, a third for film picture now, through them have a vendetta against him father. Because they remember what his father done to them and what his father said about them. So now they might try to look for the little boy in the picture. And remember, them soon find him picture because he must have social media page. Them soon put it up on the internet because everybody have this clickbait business. Clickbait, clickbait, clickbait. Yeah, click. Nobody in no a business about the charm or the youth face. I know him cast it upon himself. He was molested. And that's why enough youth now come out. That's why enough youth now come out because only if a youth get. So, what you try to tell me? A youth get molested. And you blame him and call him a gay. Because them rape him. Them take advantage of him. Give him sweet and give him bag juice and give him all kind of thing and promise him give him and all of them something there and pry upon him. I want to blame him for something where not him because they know how much big man I go through that right now. Nobody not rally for them. Nobody not rally for them. Man, I tell you, say, oh, you're born gay. No feud, I molest them, make molest. No feud. And nobody not there to sympathize with them. So them just say, all right, I'm going to that field. Remember, we don't come on for life like we are idiots, you know. See? I remember again, me is a father, me is a man deal with my youth, and I love my youth. Them. And I always listen to my youth them first. See, I have to listen to my youth them first. You have to make it as comfortable space for your youth them can come to you, come talk to you. Your youth them supposed to say, all right, they not listen to me at school. But I know my mother going to listen to me, or I know my father going to listen to me. First thing a father hears, same son get ready, disassociate yourself, like don't flick a girl. Get caught. She fall in love with a youth. And when she fall in love with the youth, the first thing she goes to Bamanga do, she go have sex with him and him take out him phone and video her. Because she trusts him. And she get video and perform oral sex on him and him. She tell him to show him friend them. Remember, you know, are your daughter. See? Are your daughter. And the first thing as a father, when you see your daughter go to Bama in an uncompromising position, where you do this one your daughter, enough band do it, enough artists in the music do that, this one them daughter, because them daughter get caught on a video. Enough artists, enough people in a society, enough people call them and say, Oh, my daughter no if you associate with her, but you now understand, say. She get comfortable with that person and trust that person and that person betrayed her trust. I remember love me could do some things, you know. Love me could do some things more time. We do it out of love. See? So the first thing we do is cast judgment. And them always tell us if you live in a glass house, don't throw a stone. Not because your daughter get caught in a position and you feel embarrassed. Think about your daughter first. Leave yourself out there. Because the master say, Yeah, man, Richie Feeling's daughter. Because Richie name I got call first. Richie Feeling's son. So I want to that person. I want to the suicidal rate where I go on at Jamaica. Nobody no business about that. How much they could you to hang themselves because of things that happen to them. These are things that we have to look upon. We must stop chaos judgment because none of we are not perfect. We must stop chaos judgment. I remember telling you something, I want to listen to that party, because that party is serious. Sending your child to a girl's home or a boy's home will only make your child worse. 
No fun who have some little girl where force ripe and them well one go take man and them one go catch girl and them one go do all of these things. Do not send your child to a foster home. Don't send your child to a girl's or a boy's home. It's going to make them worse. And why I say this, let me explain. When they go to this place, you have boys there are 13 and 14 that killed somebody before. You have girls there that burn up somebody before. You have girls who did away in a all kind of thing, will take drugs before and all of them something before. Your little child does a move I throw some tantrum where our sympathy where we can deal with. So when you send your youth to them places, they're going to buck up and worse. So it's uncle going to grow them to get worse. Boy, it's like a prison you send them gone because they like them can leave and come out by themselves. You say you send them there for two years. That two years, they would have been the worst time of them life because guess what? They don't have them own a place now. They don't have them own a game. They don't have them own a this. Only thing you can go to visit. I prison them gone. So do not give up on your youth and say, I can't bother with him. I can't bother with him. I can't bother with her. Send her away. So how oh, you sleep comfortable at night time, you know, so you don't have the control over your youth anymore. You used to wake up and see your child over the center of the corner. There. In that room, there, you and your child asleep in the same one room. On the same little bed. And your child gone. We don't have Saint Elizabeth. We don't have Moby. We don't have one part. And you have to take a bus or you have to drive or whatever you have to do for reach to your child every month. Then. Lose, you lose your child, so you know. You have lost your child. So take my advice and do not give up on your youth and talk about your can't bother. And you have the youth, so you suppose you can't bother. From you go through how much labor, someone will go through three, four hours of labor. With all of the contraction, them and all of the something, them. From you can go through that, you can't deal with the youth. Not for we. A we give up on the youth and the youth just give up on himself. You hear me say? No for we are we give up. Cause we never fight enough. We say we're tired. You can't too tired when he's a parent. All of the girls them wanna breed yet. From you know, ready for that something up. Just take all of the contraceptive them till you can't take no more. Take them and take them and take them. Protect yourself because it take a lot to be a mother. And I just mothers their picture and maternity shoot. Right? And I just that is a lot more. You have to make cream of wheat, cornmeal porridge, oats porridge. You have to make all of these things. Right? And I just throw cereal in a cup and you have to do um, twin pitcher. And I just that alone. I won't even take, especially now. So if you don't have no children yet, make everybody go to and say, Yeah, man, she can't breed. And it go for the man, them too. If you can't afford to take care of yourself, or are you going to take care of a child? Remember, say a year old, we are going up a children's hospital. You have your youth and your youth have wheeze, your youth have asthma, your youth have pneumonia, your youth have this, your youth have that, and you have to their hospital. And when you go to children's hospital, the first thing them say, sauce down the child. Give her some salt water. Salt water, they give you the pitney. Salt water. So if you're not ready for go through that stage there, just continue to live your best life. The easiest life you live when you go and take care of yourself. It's not easy to take care of youth. When you talk about back to school, and let me give you a little information. Let me give you a little information for everybody who are look out for it. Pais now keep not treat this year. There's no back to school treat this year. So, everybody where they are Jamaica, where they depend for join the long line and go cuss and kick them on one and fight over the vote of them. Like on a stab real last year and go on with a bag of thing last year. I don't have to worry. It's not keep. Right? It not keep. So everybody where I look forward to it, Spice is busy and she can't control this year. So I'm gonna live out this year and next year and get it, okay? So God go with you now. So everybody where I expect a little give back, then a little niceness, then a little freeness there, when I've got to find somewhere else. Cause remember every, every year on a bash her and talk out and things. Every year. So this year. Better want to say she broke and she didn't have it and she popped down. Better want to say that. Zin? Yeah. So back to this, this, this molestation of the youth. Then. Most of these predators are family friends, are family members, they are aunts, they are nieces, they are nephews, they are uncles. 
right? Most of these predators, they are not strangers. They are somebody that's close to the family. Somebody that's so close that the family trusts them with them life. And enough of the children, them come to their parents and say, Uncle this and Uncle that. And the first thing the parents they do, tell lie and uh, or be, call the child and say the child is lying. If your child come to you and tell you, say, Uncle Rai, touch me in an appropriate way where I don't like it. Touch me very inappropriately. It felt weird. Because that's enough to do. Make one of you them speak to you freely. Make your youth can feel comfortable and compelled to come to you and say, Mommy or Daddy, this happened at school today because remember again, you see school and church and all of the places where we're supposed to have these nice, sophisticated, educated, God-fearing people. These places are the places that all of these crosses happen. And somehow no love sending a pit near people yard too much somehow no you don't want to go outside go entertain a man or you don't want to go entertain a woman that's going to leave on a child and say yeah man a good people them over there the lady might be a good woman but her son is a predator the lady some of them might know them son are going with and them know them son problem but you are them son them not give up upon them son them love them son so why you forgive give up on your son why you must give up on your father? Why you must give up on pam pam? Why you must give up on your little daughter? Why you must do it? You don't like sending on a picnic because you don't want to enjoy yourself. Boy, a long time you don't get a little time. Anyway, your picnic can't go with you, you're not supposed to want to go. Yes, you deserve your time. But make sure your youth are right first because you go skin out and take uh, have the picnic. You go skin out and do the whole other something there. So find the time and make sure your youth are right. I always remember to listen to the youth. First lie, no found to tell the pitney them first tell. The first lie what the pitney tell. Somebody come and a call and you tell your daughter or your son say, tell him say, I'm not here. Tell her say, I'm not here. And the little boy or the little girl just go up there. She says she not for tell her say she not there. That one of the first lie we tell. And then you beat the pitney and say, stop tell lie. When you tell the child to tell that lie. You are the one that told this child to tell this person who came and called them that you were not there and the child repeated everything that you said exactly how you say it and you boof the child number boof and lick the pitney so you first on the pitney in a liar Cause remember them said children live with them learn remember them said children live with them learn and not found a guilty eye because you don't know they are true Zin and one of the biggest problem again where I go on boy yeah. not found because you know say people live a foreign and meet them pan line you introduce them to the pitney and turn them in an auntie and uncle you know what type of people them is a foreign but you know sister them live a foreign and them can bring some things and them can bring m and names and them can bring Kellogg's, you know, and Barrel, you know, and you know, send pitney size you know, send everything remember say no remember your child come first Things where you would not do for your child and somebody is willing to do it. Remember, nobody no blood clad kind so. Nobody no kind so. Because a whole heap of people are suffer from the internet. A whole heap of people. See? But you, you don't want tablet. You don't tell the people if you tell. The lady say, you don't want tablet. You don't tell the people if you tell the man say, you don't want your iPad. When I tell the people, say she must ask for the iPhone. What she do with her iPhone? Eh? What she do with her iPhone? But she wants so licky licky. When I broke the picnic, if it comes the same way, the child is innocent. You know, because one of the worst things is like when a child come and I beg you know. One of the worst things if you want to get me upset, make a little youth or come beg me. You know, if you beg. You know, if you beg, allow people to give you. Just like how you not found the big people stay. You don't allow people to give you something. Because just through somebody come from fire, you don't expect that these persons 